Colburn Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 20, Wisdom. NPR 21. The first step towards being wise is to acknowledge the extent of your ignorance. Concern yourself with the vast amount of knowledge that you lack, and place no undue importance on that which you possess. As womanly loveliness is best displayed in a modest garment, so is quiet behavior and unpretentious bearing best, becoming the wise. NPR 22 Remember that all men are born equally into ignorance, and no man, whatever his estate, lacks the means to knowledge. True wisdom comes not from books and instruction, but from observation and inquiry. NPR 23 The learned scribe knows a thousand books, but what knows he about the ways of the grasshopper? The knowledge of a gardener brings him more joy than does knowledge to a magistrate. The life of a wilderness wanderer depends not on his knowledge of books, but on his knowledge of the ways of the wilderness. NPR 24 If you would not be deemed foolish in the eyes of others, then cast aside the desire to appear wise to your own edification. If you would appear wise among the foolish, then you will appear foolish among the wise. NPR 25 A wise man speaks, but rarely. And each word is a precious stone. The fool pours forth a torrent of words, but they are all dross. Words spoken with calm forthrightness are burnished with the luster of truth. NPR 26 a wise man turns the deaf ear to his own praise. He does not know his own worth and is the last in discovering the greatest of his achievements. NPR 27 No man is wise enough to know his own folly before he has committed it. But nothing is lost to the wise, for failure becomes his guide to success. NPR 28 Man is great according to his wisdom. He succeeds according to his knowledge. Promotion and power are the prerogative of the wise. The lot of fools is a state of servitude. Those who shun wisdom's ways are foes unto themselves. NPR 29 Follow your fathers of olden times, for theirs was the wisdom of God, which is the measure of the experience of man. NPR 2010 if wisdom now be held in low esteem, it is not wisdom's loss, but the loss of man. Wisdom cries outside the palace and the hovel. She is heard in the streets and in the gathering places. Her voice says, O oh, fools and sons of fools, how long will you delight in your foolishness? But the pleasure of fools is in their foolishness, and the pleasure of the weak is in their own weakness. And therefore they scorn the voice of wisdom. NPR 2011 Let the fool eat of his tree. It will provide no sustenance in times of evil. When the whirlwind sweeps across the face of the land, bringing destruction in its wake, fools will be swallowed up, and earth will be as if they had never been. NPR 2012 The nature of life is such that the fool does not always fail, nor is the wise man always successful. Yet failure will always be the attendant of fools, and success the servant of the wise. But how is earthly success or failure measured in regions greater than earth? NPR 2013 Wisdom is the food of the soul. The wise man nourishes his soul, and it grows in beauty and strength. The fool starves his soul, and it shrivels and is distorted by weakness. NPR 2014 He who has grown to wisdom never acts, but at wisdom's command, to some has been granted the ability to soak up wisdom, as the sand soaks up water. If this be your gift from God, then hug it not to your own breast as with the mean man. Share it with those who are less wise for their instruction, and hide it not from the wise, for they will multiply it. MPR 2015 the wise man is less presumptuous than the fool, 
He has many doubts and changes his mind. For as wisdom grows, knowledge alters. NPR 2016 The fool fixes his mind in obstinacy. He is stubborn, and doubt does not disturb his placidity. He knows all things, except his own ignorance. The wise man is aware of his imperfections and continually strives for improvement. The fool forever counts his own small talents and is content. He boasts of his achievements and things which are of no account. NPR 2017 A thistle down floats on water for all to see, but a gemstone sinks below the surface. So does the fool shout his abilities to the wind while a wise man keeps them hidden within himself. The goose brings forth its egg while it rests, and the tail of the peacock is displayed while it stands still. The deep, still pool holds the biggest fish, and the resting cow gives the most milk. So it is with the quiet man, who within himself produces a fountain of strength at which lesser men drink and find refreshment and courage. NPR 2018 the heart of a fool flutters at a vain hope, but the wise man puts it behind him. Fools snap at one another, but wise men agree in peace. NPR 2019 Let reason rule all your desires, and let not your hopes reach out beyond the limits of probability. Thus the chances of success bear down in your favor in the scales of fate, and your heart will not be burdened with disappointment. NPR 2020. The wise man does not need advice. The fool will not take it. Rebuke a fool, and he will dislike you. Rebuke the wise, and they will hold you in regard. The fool does right in his own eyes. He justifies his deeds with a loud mouth. A wise man knows his limitations and seeks the advice of others. And if the advice is good, what matters who gives it? Accept the advice. That is helpful, even though it may not be palatable. NPR 2021 The man who is his own physician soon has no patient. Advice is good or bad, irrespective of who gives it. Good counsel can come forth from the mouth of a fool, and bad counsel from the mouth of the wise. While good counsel is always carefully considered by the wise, fools brush it aside. What a fool wants to believe, he will. But never disdain the opinions of another or condemn them because they differ from yours. Might you not be wrong? NPR 2022 The man who thinks himself wise believes nothing until it is proven to him. But the wise man considers everything possible until it is disproved. NPR 2023 the wisest of men will do something foolish, and everything said and done by a fool is not folly. NPR 2024 Wisdom concerns itself only with the things which are knowable in matters and that are forever unknowable. Ignorance is the best wisdom. NPR 2025 Wisdom cannot enter a heart whose gates are barred with prejudice nor penetrate a body filled with evil. The powers of the spirit enter into a man as guest, and they will not come unbidden or remain unwelcome. NPR 2026 20, Wisdom is the fruit of past experience preserved for the future. It may be unappetizing, but still it is nourishing and cannot be disregarded without the possibility of dire consequences. NPR 2027 The abode of the wise man is a sanctuary against despair, a fortress against the forces of discontent. His presence is as the gloom dispelling sunlight, and his lips as the doors of a treasure house. They open, and gems pour forth. NPR 